Shocking CCTV footage reveals the sickening moment a father gives his girlfriend a thumbs up as she gets on the bus to stage their already dead baby daughter's death. Jeffrey Baker, 52, and Rosalind Baker, 25, were today cleared of murder but found guilty of causing or allowing the death of 16-week-old Imani, who police said was tortured in the days before she died. Pictures from a shop's CCTV cameras show Baker topping up her oyster card with her baby strapped to her chest in a sling, her face covered to conceal the fact she was already dead. Cameras then captured the moment Wiltshire kissed Baker before giving her a good luck hand gesture as she boarded a London bus before putting their devious plan into action. Baker was filmed sitting on the lower deck sending text messages and speaking on her mobile phone for 20 minutes before looking at her daughter for the first time during the journey. Call records revealed that one of the texts she sent, to her sister, said, Imani is dead sis X. She then beckoned over a woman, Fjoral Beschmitz, who raced to help, but found Imani had already stopped breathing and her face was ice cold. The panicked passenger took the baby in her arms in a desperate bid to help before another woman, Viviana Cadado, phoned an ambulance and attempted CPR at the operator's instructions. Baker sat emotionless using her phone as other distraught passengers tried to help, with one noting Iman's lips were cold, before the bus was stopped and she was rushed to Newham General Hospital. Medical examiners found she had a fractured skull and serious head injuries, along with more than 40 other fractures, and she was pronounced dead. During their Old Bailey trial, Baker blamed her abusive and controlling boyfriend and claimed he had tried to frame her by forcing her onto the bus with their dead child in a sling. But former rapper Wiltshire, who claimed to have fathered 25 children, insisted, I'm not a life taker, I'm a baby maker. The jury deliberated for 14 and a half hours before clearing them of murder but finding them guilty of causing or allowing the death of their daughter, who was on the child protection register. Adjourning sentencing until May 18, Judge Nicholas Hilliard QC said, Imani's life must have been painful, distressing and bewildering, and the failure at the very least to protect her is a serious matter indeed that must result in a custodial sentence. In the week of her death, Imani was attacked three times and suffered 40 rib fractures, a broken wrist and terrible head injuries, jurors were told. Prosecutor Duncan Atkinson QC said Imani was in very significant pain and distress, which would have been obvious to any parent. Wiltshire and Baker, who lived on benefits, attempted to hide what happened at home by making it appear she had suddenly been taken ill on the number 25 bus. Jurors were told. At 9.28 m, Wiltshire was seen on CCTV kissing Baker, and giving her a thumbs up as she boarded the bus to Stratford, East London, and she does not look at her daughter until 9.56 m. The footage shows Baker beckon over fellow passenger Fjoral Beschmitz, who took the baby and found she was not breathing. She tried to blow into Imani's mouth and found her lips were cold and her eye was bruised. Believing the baby was dead, she started to panic and alerted the driver to call an ambulance as other passengers crowded around. Another passenger, Viviana Cadido also tried to help but immediately thought the infant was dead as she was cold and stiff, the court heard. She was handed a mobile phone and took instructions on CPR from the emergency operator. When the bus stopped in Stratford, Another member of the public carried on trying to resuscitate Imani before paramedics arrived. Mr. Atkinson previously told jurors, those members of the public, presented with the nightmare of an infant who was not breathing, did all they could to help. They were panicking and distressed. In contrast, Baker was noted to be cold and calm. Asked by paramedics what happened, Baker allegedly said Imani was fine before they got on the bus. But Mr. Atkinson said the condition of her cold stiff body suggested she had been dead for some time. Imani was pronounced dead in hospital and it is alleged her parents went on to give a false account of what happened to police. She also had a fractured skull and brain injury as the result of being thrown against the floor or an upright surface which led to her death, Mr. Atkinson said.
In the week before Imani's death, Baker had moved from her mother's house in Colchester, Essex, into Wiltshire's bedsit in Newham, East London, where the whole family shared the same bed. Following Imani's death, Wiltshire initially denied Imani was his while Baker told police she was in a total state of shock. Giving evidence, Baker blamed her boyfriend, who she described as a violent man who would get high on heroin and cocaine every day. Baker said, The first thing I thought was he's done something to her. When I looked at her she looked really bad. I thought she was dead. But Wiltshire denied hurting his tiny and beautiful daughter either intentionally or unintentionally, or witnessing anyone else injure her. He also denied being abusive towards Baker, controlling the purse strings or insisting she send him affectionate messages. The former rapper, who sometimes went by the name Pepperhead, said he had been out the night before Imani's death and came back in the early hours to find Baker in a grumpy mood and the baby off her milk, 